welcome back to Delivered Reviewed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Add a comment if you think it could be better, or you enjoy the content. Maybe you want a takeaway reviewed. Thanks for watching. So on to tonight's Delivered Reviewed. A uh, fair bit to get through in terms of the delivery app as well. So straight away Torino Pizza recommended by a subscriber. Um, the meat itself, I would say straight away, it's got to be some, as he said, the or she, apology. Um, the meat is probably some of the best kebab I've had. Uh, I don't know how they're doing it, but the meat, lamb, donna, and chicken cheese, which is a combination kebab um, with fries and a drink and salad, the moisture content was still there. It wasn't dry at all. Uh, juicy chicken, juicy lamb, donna, but the better part of it is, it just wasn't greasy. Um, there's not many kebabs that I've ever been to that you don't have kind of dripping lamb donna at least. So the way they're cooking it with browning it on the um, on one side in terms of it being grilled, slicing it off, letting it then go brown again, slicing it off was far better way. Uh, I'm not entirely sure they've had that apart from it, maybe Caspian's in Nottingham. Um, towards the city centre. The chicken, as you can see there, the, the kind of depth of flavour um, that was on the outside was, I think, excellent, you know, in terms of she's chicken. Yeah, okay, I mean, ultimately, chicken is chicken, but you've got the outside coating, you haven't got a sauce on it, and they've still managed to keep the chicken juicy. So I'm going to say nine and a half out of 10, maybe even 10 out of 10, just for the meat. So if we were just looking at meat on its own, nine and a half, maybe 10 out of 10. But because it's a meal, and obviously you've got the fries with it, which make up you know one side of the meal, I'm going to say lower than than nine out of ten. I mean, I'd say as you'll see, the rating at the end will be um, because of the fact that the fries were not good at all. They, I think this place, a lot of places that kind of emphasise the pizza side or the kebab side or or similar, the fries are kind of the afterthought. The polystyrene box is just essentially, and I've always said it, and I'll always say it, they just ruin everything. But they're cheap, obviously polystyrene. Um, the condensation when it's a delivery, you know, as opposed to having it brought out on a plate in a restaurant, um, the condensation just ruins food. It's, you know, the, the fries actually became kind of chewy, which I don't recommend, you know, her hands in terms of cardboard box or wing trap or, uh, I forget now who else, fat buns, um, the fries were able to breathe, so they didn't go chewy. Uh, they didn't go soggy, they just kept their crispness. So coming out of the fryer, as you can see, the colour on them was, was pretty good. I'm sure the fries were pretty nice when they came straight out, but that would have to be literally straight out. So unless they can change these polystyrene boxes, I think it's always going to be the case. So as I say, kebab meat itself, 100% agree with the subscriber. It's, it's top quality um, and it's not expensive in terms of, you know, Obviously, everything these days isn't cheap, um, but I wouldn't say it was overly expensive. So that aside, uh, Deliveroo, um, that place or company was more expensive. The app seems to be a little bit more polished, uh, a little bit better UI kind of, um, you know, the experience of using the app, but it was more expensive, I think, overall. So the service charge was slightly more and the delivery was kind of a set or it seemed to be a set £2.50. Uh, again, that stops some places from charging more, but you have this premium 7 dollars that you can buy. But you've got a premium takeaway. So, you know, I'm not too sure about delivery so far, but obviously we'll see that going forward. However, overall, as a takeaway, um, I would say 8 out of 10, but that was just because of the fact that the fries have been ruined by the, the styrofoam box uh, or polystyrene box. And everything else, if we got the fries to one side, would be... I'd say, yeah, 10 out of 10. Excellent kebab place. And at some point, I will try the pizzas. So appreciate the recommendation. And thanks for watching.